All right, everybody, we are here today checking out a little wholesome banger by the name of A Perfect Day. Now, the title of this game is honestly quite fitting as we are going to be undertaking this day over and over and over, just like the movie Groundhog's Day. In fact, you'll be replaying the last day of the 20th century, so prepare yourself for a little nostalgia as well. Now, in each time you loop, you will gather the proper information and choices needed to proceed further in the next loop. The fun in this lays in the fact that there's actually four main stories that cross between each other on his fateful day. So it's not as simple a task of getting one character story complete as the choices you make will possibly affect others. All of this is depicted through a gorgeous crayon-like hand-drawn style with heavy influences from the short works of Jorge Luis Borges. That said, if you enjoy what you see here today, Check out the provided link down below in the description to check out this demo for yourself and be sure to wishlist the game for the full upcoming English release. Alright everybody, that's said and done, let's get underway. Flying saucers. Interesting way to start. It seems, alas, we happen to be in class. Waking up from a nice little nap. Moonlight was pouring in from the window, says the entire class, cloaking everything in the cottage in a silver veil. Oh, it's that dream again. It's so peace- Oh. Stand up. Huh? Oh. What's the date today? Now, I do- I, I am aware it's the, you know, the last day of the uh, 20th century, but- you know, for the premise of uh, seeing what happens, let's say uh, it's today's date. 2023. How high are you? Uh, what's going on with class two grade six today, huh? Chen Ling, the leader of the Pioneer Squad, fell asleep during morning reading. Yang Feng, the leader of the Pioneer Battalion, let others copy his homework. Uh, Mr. Wang, Gu Yi asked for my homework, but I didn't give it to him. Yang Feng, no back talk. Uh, Mr. Wang? Cal Bao was making it up. I, I I didn't. You two! See me in my office after morning reading. Well, Go Ying and Fe Yang Feng are my best friends. But now they're doomed. And Ki Yun, our study rep, is still not here. You're all just trying to make me miserable. Sounds like he's a very miserable person, huh? Excuse me. Someone outside the door suddenly draws Mr. Wang's attention. <laughs> Excuse me. Come in. Hey, you. No, we were just talking about you. Why are you late? I I slept in. Oh, everyone else woke up on time. Shouldn't our study rep do better? Just come in and take your seat. Yes, sir. I don't think she just slept in. It seemed like she was uh, quite distressed there. You gotta read the room there a little bit, Mr. Wang. I hear a chair's leg scraping the floor behind me. As Kei Yoon pulls her seat out and sits down. The classroom stays silent for a while afterwards. Man, Mr. Wang's always been a bit harsh. Okay, continue with the text, children. Uh, hello? Test, test. Attention all teachers, attention all teachers. Principal's voice buzzes through the loudspeakers. Vacation will begin one day early, starting now. All faculty members, please assist the students to leave the school in an orderly manner. Safety is of utmost importance. Safety is of utmost importance. It's all the fuss about. Yeah, it must have something to do with what happened this morning. Is canceling class really necessary? What happened this morning? Why would they suddenly cancel class? Yeah. Alright, students, including New Year's Day, you will have a total of four days off. <laughs> Remember to do your homework, but do try to enjoy the holiday. Junior high is just around the corner. Some of you need to take things a bit more seriously. Everyone seems confused. The classroom's gone completely quiet. Why would they give us a day off for no reason? If I can react, my classmates start shouting with joy. Vacation! Vacation! Oh, it's actually happening! Today's gonna be a perfect day. Ah! He said it! He said it! 
Kei Yoon grabbed her back and walked to the door. Even without a day off, I gotta give her that today. And she tried to catch up with her. Give her that today, huh? Well, you got like a note? You got a little crush here in Kei Yoon? I don't know, man. Today might not be the right day for this, considering uh, she was damn near in tears. Oh, man, Kei Yoon is walking so fast. I can barely see her anymore. I should hurry up. Kei Yoon lives on uh, the top floor in the apartments of a People's Bank. I might catch up with her if I head towards People's Bank. Okay. So obviously there's going to be more than just a visual novel. There's a lot of like little mini games involved and stuff that you kind of have to plot for. So for instance right now, we have to figure out how to get to People's Bank in a good amount of time. Right? As I've mentioned, everything you do, you'll learn and then you will do different choices perhaps that might help you in a future loop. So right now we happen to be in Pax One Road. We can go over to Little Westlake or Shipai Lane. I have always made it to People's Bank. Shipai Lane is really quiet at this time of the day. Maybe I would run into someone if I came at a different time. Mmm. Little information already. So we ran into nobody right here. So maybe we would run into somebody into Little West Lake. At least now we know that later in the day, perhaps we come over here and we find some information. After one hour and ten minutes, and that was quite a walk. It's Kayun. It's definitely her. And she's not that far away. No, oh, the streets are bustling. But it feels like we're the only two when the only two here. Alright, what should I do? So, do we catch up or do we follow her slowly? I mean my man, if you're gonna be handing over a note that might be indicating your feelings for this girl. It might hurt. If you get rejected, but you know what? As Wayne Gretzky once said, You miss all the shots you never take. I try to walk faster. But my legs won't listen. I can't speed up no matter how hard I try. Suddenly. Kayun stops walking. Oh, I hope she hasn't seen me. I feel slightly nervous. Busted. All I want to do is give her a card. Oh, we've been busted? So yeah, there's going to be like a nervous mechanic, which um, depending on the choices you make, will lower it and like heighten it. And sometimes if your character is apparently too nervous or whatever, you won't be able to make certain choices that you might need for, you know, a future loop perhaps. Oh, what if Kayun stops talking to me? <laughs> um, apologize now, dude. I'll apologize to her before she gets upset. Kay Yoon? Is it fun to follow me around? You wanna follow me home? Go ahead. Kay Yoon's sharp words make me tremble. Oh no! It's quite the opposite of what wanted to happen. After Kay Yoon notices me, the record shop nearby begins playing the song. I think it's called the, the Sad Arctic. That's how I feel right now, the Sad Arctic. Uh, Kayun. All right, maybe we can still salvage this, right? I'm sorry, Kayun. I didn't mean to make you mad. Oh, come on. No, I'm gonna have a stroke here. You need to handle nervousness better to choose options with two. Uh, so we cannot. Yeah, so we're too nervous to hand over the card now. Okay. But see, maybe things would have been different with other options that we had chosen, or had we taken different road, who knows? Or maybe I've done it a different time. So at least for now, we can do it. You seemed fine yesterday, but in class this morning... Why were you crying? Oh... It's fine, I'm fine. Kayun wipes her eyes with her sleeve. Really? Yeah. I... Can't do it. You... I'm home. You should go home too. And then Kiyun just left. Oh, come on, dog. On an empty street, I found myself alone. It's just a card. Why was I so nervous? 
I have to be less nervous next time. Big boy. Sheng Liang! Someone call my name? You get so anxious! Hi, Bao. Oh, you'll never give her the card if you're that nervous. Kai Bao's always been the noisiest person in class. I guess he was following me. I mean, we got like people following each other. I mean, technically speaking, all the kids are out here at the street. If you want to have a perfect day, <laughs> he said it again, you gotta use that magazine well. Didn't I say, didn't I tell you that? Kai Bao knows about the magazine. He can't. Oh, right. Did you come in handy today? Lollipop. An orange flavored lollipop. Gyo Gyo Yi likes it more than I do, apparently. Kai Bao forces a lollipop into my hand. Well, I'm off. Let's see how you spend your day. Ha! <laughs> when has Kai, been, Kai Bao been so. weird? How does he know about my magazine? Should be more careful around him. Enough about him. I gotta give this card to KU today. Are you sure about that? You little brat! Uh huh? Oh no. It's happening again. Before I can react, a large hand tugs in my ear. Oh, it's Papa. I was like, who is this random dude just grabbing me by the ear? What are you doing here? Oh, Dad. Shouldn't he be at work? So we're all playing hooky or what? Are you deaf? Answer my question. Uh... You see that I'm giving someone a card, but I'm too much of a coward to do so. Uh, I came here to give a card to a friend. You're skipping school just to give someone a card? I'll break your legs! I... I'm not skipping school. I told Dad about school being out early. School's out. Just like that. For no reason. Strange. What, uh, what are you holding there, Papa? Come on, we're going home. What? I don't want to. I gotta get this card. Nervousness is max. I can't do that. Oh, so I see. So we gotta level this max, this nervousness something, right? Because we have to have at least like a, maybe a threshold of a three. When we were trying to give the card, we needed a threshold of a two, right? Home now? What? You already want to go home now? Come on. Go home and do your homework. Hey, you never came back out from the building. And Dad made me go home with him. Maybe I can find her in the afternoon after lunch. I hop onto the back seat of Dad's bike. He doesn't say anything on the way home. The only sound between us is the squeak of the bike's rear wheel. I'm gonna go lock the bike. Go ahead upstairs. Okay. I guess I'll just go upstairs. Move backpack. So we're downstairs, front door, living room, mom and dad's bedroom, TV, hmm, windowsill. Well, let's go to the front door first. As I'm about to go upstairs, someone hobbles towards me. I'm oh, so hungry. If I could only find some food. Mrs. Sun, who are you looking for? I need something to eat. Food, if only... Dad takes a steam bun out of his pocket. H here, Mrs. Sun, I have this. Take this for now, it's a meat bun. How about I walk you over to the police station? Food. Go upstairs, Ling Lang. I'll stay here with this old lady. I don't want your food. I want it for my grandson. Nobody but my grandson cares about me. The old lady slaps the bun out of Dad's hand and hobbles away. Yeah, it's Mrs. Sun again. <clears throat> Just go upstairs, go home. Okay. Hmm. So we might learn more about this lady down the line. Oh, we can talk to Papa here. Your grandma your grandmother would be about Mrs. Sun's age by now. Go upstairs. Mom's always back home cooking lunch by now. Why isn't she back yet? Um <sighs> Y your mother still isn't home. Where could mom be? Dad, where's mom? Why, why isn't she home? Mom, uh, she had something to take care of. If she isn't coming back, then I'll cook today. R really? She said she'd make dumplings for lunch today. 
We're out of dumplings. Noodles will have to do. Noodles? Wait a moment. But mom said we'd have dumplings. Dad sees the keys on the table. Dad takes the keys and puts them in his pocket. Are those dad's keys? Did he forget them this morning? Huh. So, so wait a minute, wait a minute. If he... Let's, let's assume that he never... He didn't leave the keys this morning, right? Maybe he just didn't come back. Last night. Maybe Papa's having a little extracurricular activities outside his own home. That must be the key to my parents' room if I go home early. If I go home early. Oh, we could probably get that key if we're here before Dad comes and drags us here. Or maybe your Mom even leaves. Okay. That puts a leather bag under the tea table. So I feel like anything in red is kind of like very important, like clues for the future. Or not the future, but another loop, I guess. And then checks through the bookcase. I mean, he's very, he's being very suspicious about this, uh, mom thing. And the fact that he didn't go to work, apparently, too. Where's that money? Now there's missing money, too? Oh, man. There's nothing here. Where did my money go? Uh, son, have you seen my 50 yuan? Huh? Dad asked me if I had seen his 50 yuan. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> go look for it in your room. In my room? That would imply that I took it from you, that I'm a thief. Uh, okay, where, where, where will we find money? How could the money end up in my desk? Nothing there, ten minutes later. Uh, let's see, what about in here? Mom's wardrobe. Maybe the money's in one of her pockets. Nope. What? Little drawer back there. Why would... Why would Dad's money be in my room? I put all my stuff in my bedside table. There's a lot in here. An old red scarf, some pogs, and pogs? Hey, mini four-wheel drive. Took you long enough. Did you find anything? <laughs> Found the the car? Hmm. Oh, okay, hold up. There, so we could the ones that are checkmarked we could probably give. Huh, I only have four. Should we give them to the dad? Is he going to think that I, that I used up the other 46? It's going to look bad if I just hand Dad the money. Is there any other way to give him the money? Dad stands in front of the bookcase and checks through it. He's searching through the bottom of the bookcase. Ah. So, we could probably put some money in another loop. Okay, in the bookcase. Okay, so no, no. I didn't find anything, I guess. Well, I mean... Fine. I literally found this. <laughs> All you think about is playing, playing, playing. Anything else? Nothing else, really. Damn, money must have flown away. Ugh, just my luck. M Mom hates it when you swear. Your mother? Yeah, <laughs> she's a better cook than me, ain't she? That's noodles. Where is that, Mom? Dad? It's not salty enough. How is it? What should I say? It's bland. Mom would have made a side dish or two. Yeah, your mom's the best, all right. She cooks, she paints. She gets, she's good at so many things. Why, your dad only knows how to make pots. Noodles will have to do. Um... <laughs> What should I say? This feels very tense. So, uh, I could have noticed how you didn't go to work today. Dad, uh, why didn't you go to work this morning? Why do you care? Work this, work that, screw it. After talking with Dad, you feel slightly nervous. I'm nervous, but I can pull this off. What should I say? Uh, Dad? What'll happen if your money is missing? What do you think? I might have lost a fortune. What'll happen? After talking with that, oh, <laughs> I, I can't have a conversation with this man. You know what? I'm done talking to you. I'm just gonna eat these noodles, I guess. Wolf it down. Finish it real quick. 
Take a second bite before swallowing the first. Ugh. I feel slightly nervous. <laughs> no. Dad's enjoying the meal. He just stays quiet and eats. My bowl still has lots of noodles in it. Hey, Lang Lang, turn on the TV. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We have news, Dad. The authorities handled a special case of street vending. A man, surnamed G, was reported for blocking traffic while selling cooking pots. Ah. Uh, doesn't Papa make pots? The authorities swiftly confiscated his wares, given G's continued mental problems. <laughs> that must be old G. That seems to know something. Nervous as Max, I can't do that. So, this is the Afterglow Bookstore. Through reading, you will find success, and great fortunes will follow. Afterglow Bookstore, Temple of Wisdom. New release, we can say no, now on sale. Afterglow Bookstore? Yesterday after school. Is my group supposed to be on duty today? Jing Liang! The new, new, new bo bo bookstore is awesome! Yu Yi is using reading as an excuse for skipping duty again. I haven't heard about it. What's his name? Uh, 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 Afterglow. Kiyun likes the bookstore too. Aftergoat? Aftergoat? What a weird name. Afterglow. Hmm. So there we might run into Kiyun. Maybe I can find Kiyun there in the afternoon. I wonder how much it costs to open a bookstore like that. <laughs> can, all right, can I just go to... I don't want to talk to this man anymore. I'm still worried. Eat it all. I'm going to have a stroke speaking to this man. All right, I hope this money will be enough. I'm heading to the factory. Lang Lang, stay home this afternoon. And do your homework. Uh, sure. Okay. I should make a wish first. See you later. Dad was in such a hurry that he left the door open. Hmm. What's this? Oh. How's he gonna get into the factory? There's a white sticker on it that says lounge. I'll hold on to it for him. I didn't expect Dad would leave home so early. Oh, what should I do for the rest of the day? Still thinking. Have lunch at home takes one hour. Manage your time carefully. I gotta give the car to KU today. I'll go look for her to that bookstore. Time for the plan. So I guess we're disobeying Papa. Just go into this bookstore. So this is Afterglow Bookstore. Looks to be a modern bookstore. Filled with books I've never seen before. It's not too crowded. Could Kayum be here? Alright. So uh, see here. What did I do wrong? We were fine in the morning. But then it's like she became a different person, telling me you changed. Uh, shouldn't that student be in school now? Where is his parents? It's an Oji-san. Uh, let's see here. Speak English now and it's free? Hey. Click the backpack button in the bottom left to read books. Budding love. Six Yuang. Oh, we only have four though. Yeah, I can't afford it. Modern Thick and Dark Theory, 8 Yuang. Looks like a book for adults. Don't you dare. So, let's see, we're in the bestseller section. What if we move over to the philosophy section? This must be the philosophy section. Kayun isn't here. All I see are rows and rows upon books and... Gu Yi. It's all his fault. He told me Kayun would be here. Let's beat him up for lying to us. <laughs> Come over here and teach him a lesson. Scare him. I'll give him a good scare. Poof! <gasps> Gu Yi! Ch Cheng Liang! You s s s s scared the shit out of me! What should I say to Gu Yi? Uh, you lied to me, you scumbag. 
Didn't you say yesterday that Kei Yoon would be here? Uh, when did I say that? Oh, what, what I meant was that Kei l l likes to come here to read. Oh, did you come here to find her? <laughs> Gyuyi seems to have the wrong idea. What should I say? It's... It's not what you think, oh, of course not. Th 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 think what? It's been a b b bad day for me. I got s s this just snitched on. Is he talking about what happened in the classroom, right? Yeah. About what happened in the classroom this morning. Looks like there's no hope of getting Game Joy Color back. If I catch whoever stole the Game Joy Color, I'm, I'm going to... Going to what? I'm going to tear his textbook to pieces. It's like Gyuyi has been having a rough day. I should ask him more about Kei Yoon. What should I say to Gyuyi? Uh, where could she be? Where else do you think Kei Yoon could be? Cheng Liang? What kind of friend are you? Huh? All you care about is K K Kei Yoon. You're picking a g g girl over your f Oh, yo, he's calling you out on the bros before hoes thing, man. yo -Yi is mad. I should try to calm him down. What should I say to yo -Yi? <laughs> Just go back to it. Yeah, anyway, dog. Uh, Kei Yoon, can you tell me where she might be? Didn't he apparently... Isn't he the one who likes these? Lollipop? Huh? <gasps> A l l l lollipop? And it's orange flavor too, m my favorite. Cheng Liang, still my best friend. You know I l love this flavor. Hey. That just stopped him from being mad. Okay, so now that we've um, greased this dude, um, dog, where my honey at? Since you gave me a lollipop, I'll <laughs> help you. You use willing to help me. Where does. Kei Yoon go every Friday afternoon. Doesn't she go home? I see someone take her t t t to the children's palace every Friday. Children's palace? For fun? She's great at mad. My guess is she's taking more mat lessons. She must be signed up for one of those fast track classes for next year's junior high entrance exams. Go try your luck at children's palace. She, she m might be there. I didn't realize Gyu Yi was so observant. I guess I should head to the children's palace. I have to walk past that shop. Is Kayun really taking mad lessons here? Well? I mean, can we just walk over there or what? Uh, excuse me, miss. Do you know where the fast track class for junior high might meet? Meets? Oh, you mean the remedial class? It hasn't started yet. Hasn't started? Class begins precisely at 5 in the afternoon. It's your first time, isn't it, dear? Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure is. Class hasn't started yet, which means Kayun is sure to turn up if I wait here. I should do something while I wait. Well, guess what we're gonna do? My friend, I would like to use your track. Really? You, come closer. Today's the last day of the century. Want to do something big? Something big? Listen up. Do you want to claim Big Cow's Cup, a slot car game, and win the biggest prize of your life? That's your big plan? Well, have you ever won a championship in your life? If you win today, you're going to be remembered for the next 20 years. Uh, want to sign up? It's free, of course. Well, I... Not so fast. First, you got to prove that you got the courage needed. Courage. Well, do you have it? How can I prove my courage? Uh, look, dog, I'm about to try to give this woman uh, a card to prove my love. How do you expect to accomplish anything without courage? How do I prove my courage? What about with the car? Courage, courage, think. I got four. Yuang? Now that's some courage. Oh, you wanted money. Instant replay, please. Want to sign up? It's free, of course. Oh, and you've heard of the 4WD boy of the Zhang Zhuai, right? 
Big winner of the first Big Cal's Cup. Big Cal pulls something out of his pocket. He uses a special edition Big Cal motor for his car. I'll take it. I'm not even going to tell you how good this motor is. That'll be two yang in total. Oh, oh I'm in the negatives now. <laughs> How's that working? Should I play with the Mini 4W while I wait for Kayun? Sure. This is a track and number of laps in the current race. This shows information on your opponent. Two laps. Lil Zeno. Max speed one star, one star, half, half, and half. Now let me check out my parts here. So let's see here. Here's our shell. Original stable, balance, gear, battery, and motor. So we have the original motor. I guess we'll put on this big cow motor then. Bad idea. <laughs> Why is my mini Ford WD so slow? That's how I use the big cow motor. Don't worry. Stop out the motor, you might win. You did the best you could. <laughs> you 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 tricked me, is what you did. You absolute scumbag. Original motor on. Yeah, if you use the big cow motor, you'll easily win. Yeah, so this track apparently is gonna be a speed-oriented one, so for the big cow, maybe once we have a track with like a bunch of loops and turns. Then we could probably use that. Hey. Nice win, you made it to the next round. Come here, let me stamp your entry pass. I'm so happy, I feel relieved. Your new opponent isn't gonna be, isn't gonna hold back. Oh, I almost forgot. I got some new merch for sale at a discount. Yeah. I don't have any more money though. Wait, it's already five. Hey, can I ask you a favor? But but I can't miss Kayun. Sorry, dude. I I came here for other things not to play. I need to wait for Kayun. Kayun? It's Kayun. It'll be real quick. Then you can go back to waiting for who was it again? Okay. I won't be much use. Don't sell yourself short. It's just a book. Could you take it to Quick qu Quickie at the roller rink? She sells tickets there. You can't miss her. You must be talking about Miss Quee. Help me, and I'll give you a motor when you're back. Nope. Excuse me, miss. Do you know where the fast track class for junior high met meets? Oh, you're the same child from earlier. The tutor requested leave today. Today's class has been put off until tomorrow. Oh, man, so we're not going to meet her here ever. If this stays in a repeat. Here's the official notice. But their meaning is lost on me. Okay. Have you seen Kayun? Miss, have you by chance seen Kayun? Kayun? I don't know any student by that name. Come back tomorrow, dear. Oh, it's all my fault. Should have given it to her on Christmas Day. Ugh. Alright, everybody, that's said and done. We're gonna wrap it up here for this one. I hope you have enjoyed. This has been a perfect day, which, um,. In reality, hasn't really been that perfect for our boy now, has it? That said, this demo actually still goes on from where we left off, so there's more to do. I definitely encourage you to check it out if you enjoyed what you see here today. As I mentioned, go ahead and give it a wish list, as the full release of the game in English isn't out just yet, but the demo is in English, so you could actually continue from where we left off or make different choices and see what happens on your run through with all the information you might have gathered from this video. Down below in the description, I'll have a link for you in case you want to check it out for yourselves. I hope you have enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.